Louisiana Beer Reviews looks at Alt Erd State. This German style amber ale is from Natchez, Mississippi. The Natchez Brewing Company. It's a 6.4% alcohol. IBU's not listed, sadly. Hops not listed. Malts not listed. Oh well, they say they use the German noble hops. That's it. Seldom seen in the United States, this style. I don't know. I've seen a fairly good amount of alt beers. Old ales. It means alt. Old German word. And, uh... I see no date, guys. Now, I did the IPA from uh, Natchez. Their uh, old capital IPA. I gave it a B-. minus. They said drink fresh, then they had no date. I didn't go on and on about that. I didn't think, I, I had forgotten to check on that. Didn't taste old, but maybe the hops faded a little bit. I doubt that was the issue because I just had seen it come into the stores. So I don't think it was old. Let's check this out. Um, 6.4, a little bit higher ABV. Should the IBUs be lower. I hope the IEUs are higher international enjoyment units. I like darker beers, dark lagers, dark ales. I really do. All right. Um, had this Tabasco glass, which I bought. I got these at a garage sale. They were twenty-five cents a piece, I believe. I think I bought a, a set for a dollar. <laughs> nice glasses. Hard to clean though, cause gotta get the the bottom clean. Okay, it's light brown. Thick beige head, light brown, here at 9 a.m. I know it's 9 because that test iron is going off at DuPont. DuPont and Denka chemical plant. I see powdery sediment, some fairly active bubbles. It's semi-clear. or you got to have light shining through because it's kind of dark. You know, like it's copper with the... Dark copper with the light shining at it. Okay, so it's a cool, really attractive product. And I was showing these dark lagers behind here. This uh, Michelob Classic Dark. I used to love that dark lager. Why did, why, or why did they get rid of it? <laughs> you still have beer in it. People say, do a review of those from 21 years ago. I can't because I would break the shroud. Can't break the shroud. We must never break the shroud, as Fleetwood Mac said. Amber Bach, pretty, you know, it's like kind of dark. Similar to this, really. Maybe a little lighter than this. Adjunct lager. All right, okay, all right. Armor potted meat made with chicken and pork added. Oh, boy. 48 cents a can. The great value is 38 cents a can. Uh, yeah, I'll be curious to try this Marie Callender's Chicken Pot Pile Style Soup made with white meat chicken. From my kitchen to yours since 1948. Hey, you know what? I'm game. I'm game for what Con Agra's throwing at me. Consolidated agriculture. Okay. And Pinnacle Food Group. Oh, and we have some Swiss cheese from Great Value. Who is the supplier to Great Value? This I do not know. Probably some major cheese company like Borden or Kraft. You'll notice that uh, when 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 you do a taste comparison. It's about the same price. Well, the great value is cheaper. Private label Walmart beer, not a good value. Rockdale Light, not enjoyable. Rockdale Classic, how that's a classic, I'll never know. Okay. But I've been getting the soup so hot, it'll burn your tongue. 
and I put the crackers in it. Then I cut some slices of Swiss cheese and put it in it. It melts and it gets all gooey and the soup is all oh, this and Maria Callen. Okay, now, um, yeah, this has a little better, nah, I'll say a little better, like a little bit better consistency than the great value. Not really, it's kind of semi-soupy. I'm starting to think that maybe armor potted meat and great value potted meat is not A superior canned meat product. Although I did enjoy it, I have to admit it was kind of enjoyable. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna put the Dave's Insanity sauce. Green cap, no, it has a black cap, but mine broke. So <laughs> I used a crystal hot sauce cap. I'm getting low on it here. Now look, yeah, it's congealed like some congealed hot sauce. You let it do that because you don't dare to grab it. I'll wipe it off with a towel. If you grab it and you have residue on your fingers and three hours later you wipe your eye because it itches, you will suffer. Believe me. You don't want to do it. Um... Dave's Insanity Sauce is nothing to play with. I play with madness, as they once said down in the... All right, um, time to... The head kind of dissipated, but it didn't race away. Now, the problem with the IPA was the head was like... Wah! It was like racing, Woo! and then fizzy. And then... I said, hmm, it's kind of a... Cue your IPA head. And it didn't leave a whole lot of glass lacing. All right. I'm going to push this away to give me some smell iso isolation. Oh, and this is the first video review for this beer in the world. Now. Deep, full, rich, bready, Bread, breadiness, yeast, bread crust, brown bread, a little honey note, a bread-like bready bread aspect, and even a little yeasty zing. You know, like some of the yeast to have like a little zing to it. Oh. Uh-oh. All right. Well. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, what you want? Well, um. Hmm. Brother, can you take me back? Take me back. Where I want to, brother, can you take me? This has some very, very strange sourness to it. It has like this funky monkey sourness. Kind of a... Like a... Like a cherry bounce, like a cherry bounce area in the taste. Ooh, we now. I mean, I know alt beers can be a little weird. But this is sort of like beaucoup. <laughs> um. It is interesting. There's a dried flower, like dried flowers. <laughs> you know, sourness. <laughs> T 
heart. Hey. Somebody put Monk's Cafe beer in this bottle. But guys, eyes are normal. No, um, it's, it has like a shoe leather, um, shoe leather, le okay, shoe, shoe leather, and some, uh, I was going to try to say some, uh, like, yellow chewing tobacco, like, um, Levi Garrett. You got to watch these alt beers, because they're really alt, you know what I mean? They're alternative, um, but like real alternative, you know, like, not like fake alternative. Woo! There's some coating at the bottom. Well, I gave the the old Capital IPA at B minus because I said it was arguably good. This one is I don't know if it's good. <laughs> like. You say, what well, isn't the main consideration of the beer is, uh, isn't the main consideration follow, uh, the following, quote, does the beer taste good, unquote. Um, yeah, that's, that's a fairly important thing. Whoa! Lava lamp, it's a, there's a gray descending cloud or a brown descending cloud. That's interesting. I had a feeling it was going to do that. Uh, does it taste good, though? You could say that, and I will say that with reservations. It has a strange sourness. The yeasty zing is peculiar. The mouthfeel is like a high medium, which I was expecting more of a medium. The finish is um, stark, but I guess that's not really a descriptor of finish. Um, like a way of being dry, you know what I mean? It's hard to describe. It's a way of being dry. It, it, it has tea-like notes. Well, that's, that's another thing that you'll get with these tea tannins. Yeah, I, I was missing that part of it before. Hey, well, you know, I'm going on and on about it, so it is interesting. You can't say it's some dull, run-of-the-mill, boring, blah stuff. Uh, but good... <sighs> I, it, it could be a style thing because the style, the alt beer, is a bit strange. A bit strange. Um, yeah, I think it's probably something that I should say a B plus. I, I would say it's very good because you have to take into consideration the extremely unusual and sort of a. a um, kind of died out style that you don't really see it like yeah you know, I'm saying yeah I've seen it around but I haven't really seen all beers around that much I mean I've seen them in some curio shops so to speak beer shops but but now I have to say this there's that chalky thing I was getting that chalkiness and it was even more pronounced in the um because that's a paler malt thing, the, the uh, Old Capital IPA. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, to me, that's a flaw. Like, when you got this chalky tongue coating, I'm saying B+, plus, but I'm thinking B. So, you know, like, you know what I mean? So, should I go with what I'm saying, or should I go with what I'm thinking? I think you can figure that out. So, <laughs> laissez les bon temps roule, uh, mm, uh, you know... <laughs> You review a bunch of stuff, you know. Can we say? All right, now. I got it set up nice, huh? All right. Uh, I guess I'll take the one with the big blob of the hot sauce. This could really cut into that peculiarity um, part of it. The hot sauce, you know? The Dave's Insanity. Mm. Slip and 
to unconsciousness. Okay, uh, mm, honestly, with that, I think I'd rather be drinking Chang or Tiger Lager from Singapore or um, Singa or Beer Lao or 33 Export if you want to be a techno or Kronenborg 1664 so uh, mm, not too sure about the pairing Uh, but on its own merits, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's, that's good. Okay, so, um, okay, um, I'm glad I tried it. Don't guess I'd be running out, running out to buy it. But, um, yeah, I mean, like I say with most beers, if you see it, buy it and try it, you might like it more than me, of course. You might hate it. I don't know. It's, it's, it, has, it has merit. Some. I wouldn't be thinking B if it had no merit. Oh, a little metallic. Hmm. Uh, I could be coming from that. All right, well, lazy les bon temps in a psychedelic type of way. And y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana.